Hey guys, I hope you're good. This is Max from MHS Pod, and today I will talk about a way to send your Cinema 4D R20 scene into ZBrush. There is no official goals for ZBrush, so you can send your Cinema 4D R20 scene directly into ZBrush, but someone found a solution. This guy is called Valkyrie, and we will come back later on his website and see how we can install his plugin. But just let's see how it works because it's a bit different from the official goals. So basically I need to create any kind of object and uh, I will just move it and rotate it to show you how important it is to use uh, goals because if you work uh, in a classical way with ZBrush you will export your scene, export it in um, OBJ, send it to ZBrush, export it from ZBrush and you will end probably with a super small uh, with inverted axis object and it's a, really a pain to always uh, transfer back your object, uh, scale it uh, one uh, the same size and so that's why it's important to have a great workflow. So how does it work? I have my object and I just need to click this button send to send the object into ZBrush. So here you see I can have my object, I will edit it I will um, just uh, center it and make a few uh, things. I would just make like a big modification so we we see that uh, I've changed my object. So yeah, just just walk in ZBrush, and once it's over, you need to click Goes, go back to Cinema 4D, and click to Import, and you will have a change and have your new object taking the same position, scale and rotation info but it's actually the new object and it's super handy to work because you don't have to export, you don't have to rescale and thank you so much Valkyrie for uh, doing that because there's no, again, I say it again because I'm so shocked, <laughs> there's no official goals from ZBrush to Cinema 4D. So how do you get uh, this tool? First this tool is made by Valkyrie, he's making incredible plugins. Uh, dude, if you're watching this video, thank you so much because Delta Mesh is super nice if you are doing character animation and we even use uh, Hot4D in the latest MHS Prod short film made with the amazing Maxim Tibergian. Um, we use it. Um, we used it to create Ocean and it's super nice tool so not hesitate to watch uh, the latest short film here and so you just need to follow the link under the description and you will end in uh, this page, page GitHub just need to download and once you've uh, downloaded the um, plugin you will have uh, something WinRAR, I will never pay, pay you, sorry. You will have uh, this small um, file, just hop in and read it. Basically you just need to, uh, you just have to um, put it into your, your Cinema 4D plugin and once you have in your Cinema 4D plugin you will have an access by going into plugin here, um, you will have export to ZBrush and import for, from ZBrush so you can put it into your layout and in ZBrush you need to go into preference, goals and just uh, find the path to your Cinema 4D. Uh, if you miss the path from Cinema 4D you can end up with this problem if you use for example DAS Studio. I used DAS Studio recently and uh, it just fucked up my path to Cinema 4D. Uh, you need to reinstall uh, ZBrush because some softwares like Daz are trying to get their own goals and sometimes it can fuck up a bit the other goals. So if you end up with problems uh, like me, the solution I found is just reinstall the software to get the proper uh, goals. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I know I have the sexy French accent so I hope uh, you didn't want to come to Paris to visit because it's a really nice city. Uh, feel free to join our Facebook group called um, Motion Designers Community. You can basically share your motion design work, but you can also share 
uh, your Sculpt or 3D work. It's a really nice community. And you can also join our Discord. It's a super nice place with a lot of incredible people talking. Uh, you can ask for feedback, share your finished work, find resources, and you even have um, workshops and it's super nice because you have a lot of professional like for example Hinky is working at Nintendo and super cool to uh, grow all uh, together so do not hesitate to join the community here just make a small presentation and enjoy with the community thank you guys for watching this video hope this video was helpful everything is in the description and thank you again Valkyrie give some love to this guy because he made all the job it's super nice bye guys